Catherine Anderson's food philosophy is cooking food from the heart for the soul. Her upbringing in Fiji has given her a wide range of influences to bring to her catering, which has included cooking classes across the world. Kia ora Catherine, no mai, hi to my welcome to our kitchen. It's wonderful to have you here. Kei te tino hihiri taku ngako. I am excited to see what we're going to make with these beautiful ingredients today. We're going to make a pakora with beans and some kumara and a little bit of heat from the chilli. And then we're going to make a tamarind sauce to go with it. And then we're going to make this melt in your mouth lamb which is going to just hopefully fall apart when we start eating it, almost like a pull apart. Lastly, we'll make the rata, which is the yogurt with a couple of toasted spices and then beautiful fresh herbs, mint and coriander. Yeah. What do we need to do first? This is the lamb. So I'm going to actually cut these pieces down a wee bit more. We've got a lamb shoulder here. We? Yes, we've got lamb shoulder. Kare kore, no doubt the type of pot that we're using is quite important, ne? Very important, because um, it's a, a long, slow cooking process. You need a really heavy pot or pan to do this cooking. So I've got my pot heating over here. Kona totino, is that your favourite? Yes, that's my curry pot. I would love you to chop some onion and I'll give you some garlic as well. So I'm going to toast the coriander and then take it out and crush it. Then I'm going to put in a dessert spoon of cumin seed, a dessert spoon of fennel and dessert spoon of mustard seeds. Then I'll add the coriander back with the oil and also some coriander roots. You can just put them in in any order. That. Okay, I shall. Yeah, so I'm just looking to sauté it a wee bit, but not to brown. I don't want to brown the onions. So now I'm going to put in some turmeric. So when I say a dessert spoon, I'm quite generous about my dessert spoon. Okay, Nui. What else have we got going in? I've got some garam masala, and I'm going to just sprinkle this in here. And I'm going to put all this meat in here now. I all think of it? The yep. This is my magic pot. It can take a lot. It feeds a big family, you know. It looks beautiful already, so everything's going to get kissed mm -hmm. with that flavour. Oh, katahina te kakara, that just smells amazing. When it gets dry, you start needing to add some liquid to it. I put some tomatoes, just some chopped up tomatoes into it. And I'm going to add the curry leaves. You really want fresh? Fresh. Fresh is always best. I'd like that to cook for at least an hour, just to make sure that the lamb's soft and succulent, like I said. So we're making this tamarind sauce now. Here's some onion, six curry leaves. I've used three cloves of garlic, one knob of ginger. No, Raida, got that paka hanumito here. Here, you want to blend that all up together? Yes, please. If you've got the blender there, that'd right. be great. We can put the chili in too, actually. I actually like to fry the leaves. And I'm going to go on these ones now. So I need some spices now. All right, how are we now? And what are those? Cumin. Right. Um, and coriander. Coriander. And I put just a wee bit of this in it. How are they now? And what That's is it? That's about a teaspoon of the turmeric. Turmeric, yep. And I'm going to also use dates. So that's to make it sweet and sweet thick. Food. Right. And now I'm, I'm actually going to put the tamarind paste into it. Mm -hmm. I'm using two because one's a concentrate and the other one is just a lighter paste. So that's the concentrate. And how much are you putting in there? About 200 grams. And what about this? Yes, I'm going to put this all in. I'll give that a wee stir around. I'm going to put water with it now, about half a cup, okay. and then turn it down and leave it to simmer so it breaks down the dates. So we leave it there doing its thing, sort of simmering? I would just do it by sight and taste. Kei a koe so it's up to you and how you like it and how yeah. your whanau likes it. That's right. How te he te mitzi. How's that going? Beautifully. <gasps> Look at it. So we're onto the kumara and bean pakora, right? Yes. So if you cut up the beans for right. me. Pakura pakura um, so we want them nice and small, right? Yes. What I might do is take this kumara and start peeling it because we're going to grate it. Then you get that lovely flavour, you know, with the sweetness from the kumara. 
And then you get the nice texture from this bean and then the spice. And I think that's going to do us. Yeah, that's oh, and, tough. And no it's on it, so it's yeah. nice big kumara going on Yeah, there. yeah. Well, you need more vegetables than you do flour or anything else. Now, what I do is I actually put everything in here and then mm -hmm. I add my flour last. Stacey, you can chop up a whole lot of coriander for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put some cumin seeds, my favourite spice, absolute favourite spice, and just a wee bit of the fennel. You taste that when you bite it. So now I'm going to put in some of this chickpea flour. And this is just how I do it, to see how much I need by just using my hands. And then I put it through it again like this. So that I'm sort of coating everything with it. A wee bit of turmeric. I just love that colour. Stacey, could you get me about maybe a cup of water to add to this? This is actually a vegan dish as it is right now. Mm. but. Um, I'm going to add an egg to it, and it's no longer vegan, it's just vegetarian. Ah, oh, I see that. Yeah, mm. I've seen that. You don't have to add the egg to it. It's got to cook long enough for the vegetables to cook without going mm. black and raw on the inside. Mm. OK, so you have to have the temperature just so. Just drain it off a little bit. So how are you going to serve up this delicious looking pakora? I'm going to put them on a lovely wooden platter with shiny green leaf. Normally I'd use a puka leaf. And so I'll pile them up and put some tamarind on the side. And I'd use this lovely marigold to just pull the petals off it and sprinkle it over it for garnish. Hey, Kwahuri they are. This is completely different from how I've seen pakora before. They just all look like a big blobby, very flowery kind of thing going yeah. on. Yeah, see there's no right or wrong, so however people choose to make it. Um, is the way that is right for them. I know they come midi midi here the waha. It's like it massages your mouth and mm. just after you've got that nice crunch. Waking your mouth up. Yeah, and, and the, the veggie. taste buds are jumping. And then it gives you a nice little massage from the back. Wow. We've just, uh, only got the rat I left to do, which is gonna take us a couple of minutes. And then we can plate up the curry as well. Kapai. I'm going to just quickly pan fry off a couple of spices, the cumin and the coriander. Okay, Stacey, if you want to put that mixture into here, the coriander and the um, mint. Tapa here, I would see it. That's just been really chopped up. That's all we've done there. You can tip the yogurt into it and then just mix it all in together in the bowl. And um, I just want to put some of that salt in it. So could you add some salt mm. to it, please? Yeah. I've got everything ready. How are you going to serve up this delicious looking lamb curry? Well, I've got four bowls there. One for the lamb, one for the rice, and one for the raita, one for the tamarind. And we're going to use some roti just on the plate on the side, because that is a must have as well when you're eating curry. It's like a feast, and it's a feast of flavours, mengatai, all of those beautiful colours. How do we approach this kai wise? Okay, so I just tear it, tear the roti into pieces, mm -hmm. and hopefully, if if the lamb has been cooked how I promised it to be cooked, oh, you, and it you should be able to just pull pieces off it. Right. Dip it into your sauce, the um, raita and the tamarind. Get both of it on there. Mm -hmm. And then... Bear mm kai. -hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This surukai, like you say, is made with love. It's soul food. And it yeah, just feels like a wonderful Sunday night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you promised it would be falling apart, and it is. It's mm. just... Beautiful and only an hour's cooking. Mm. But it's doable thanks to you and all your help. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. My gosh, it's good. Mm.